Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. I'm glad you stopped by today. Today I'm going to be doing Sweet Bee Paper Co's <laughs> collab, collab challenges. I cannot get that out. <laughs> it's week six and it's her um, card card challenge. You just pick out a card, whatever card you want, whatever size you want and um, she gives you two prompts. So this week the prompts are, let me make sure I say it right. Um, I've got it up on my computer. It is delicate and dot. So I I won her prize, her birthday prize, and I just got it in the mail yesterday. It is this beautiful folio and I have um, taken it apart. I did, it's on my channel. I did a, an you know, unboxing of the prize when it came in. So it's not, everything is not in here as beautifully as she had it. But I thought, hey, I'm going to use some of the stuff that she sent me to do my card. I thought that would be fun. So um, we're going to use some of this stuff. But first, I got to get the card kind of covered up a little bit. Um, so I thought, for, I did kind of do some edging around the card. I doubt that'll show, but I always like to do that in case it does show try and get this out of the way. I don't want to get that key and stuff um, covered. I have this Tim Holtz paper that my friend gave me, tissue paper, and I thought I have this music and stuff. Of course, this part right there is where I really want it. I think that part would cover it all. Oh, oh, oh I'm losing it. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it because I can wrap that back up into it because I want that right there to be on it, that part. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it. You know what? I'm not going to cut it. I think I'm going to tear it. I could probably just tear that out and um, leave it all so I can roll it up, can't I? If I tear it, it'll be best for, you know, when I go to use this again. I hope I, I think I have this where you can see it all. It's kind of fussy. Fiddly D. to the edge where the car is, barely. I'm going to go a little bit further. Okay. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up without tearing it up. That is a negative. Oh, I thought this would be really easy. I'm going to cut because I am messing this up big time. Here, I thought this would be simple, simple. Just tear it. It's just not tearing very easy. Like I thought it would. Okay. Whew. Hope that beautiful butterfly is in here again somewhere. I mean, I know I got half of them in these, but I hope he's in there whole again. Surely it repeats itself. Ooh, well. I need the music this time, so that's what I'm getting. Alright, so then I have my little magazine page here to glue on. And I know everybody always like uses Mod Podge or whatever and glues and then sticks over it, but my my they're staying okay, so I guess what I'm doing is okay. I don't know. Where's my sheet? There it is. Well, I'm not gonna do it. 
one of these days I'll learn that it wasn't okay, probably. But no, oh, I thought that was part of the string on my folio. I was like, no, 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 you can't get in there, but it was on the magazine page. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, dear. I mean, I've done these in my art garden, this in my art journals, and they stay okay, so I don't know. Ooh, that's not quite far enough there. I think I got it. Okay. Where's my thing? Anybody else just use a glue stick? rub my edges down good enough. Oh, well that one I did. <laughs> okay, let's cut that off of there. So how are you all doing? I hope that you are staying well. I don't know if winter is so weird in your area as it is in mine, but man, it's strange. Today it's like 60 degrees, and then it will drop down in the 30s. And I know that I said that in another video of mine. And yes, it dropped down in the 30s, and we are back to the 60s, like I said was going to happen. It's raining out there. There's a chance of snow in the near future. It's just and I have been sick. I've been really sick. Like it took me to my bed for a couple of days. And I um, don't do that. I used to do that. That was before my husband was hurt in a wheelchair. I, I don't take to my bed. I don't, I'm not really... That's not something I can really do. Um, <laughs> but I did. I was sick. Um, it really got me down. So, um... <clears throat> I got out today and... Huh? I'm gonna look. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's the time my voice cracks. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling a little bit better. I going now. I had to get out. Um, he needed his medicine from the pharmacy and um, the dog needed food. <laughs> she, she needed food. So I had to get out. And no, the pharmacy, I mean the pharmacy would deliver but it would take a couple days because it would come in the mail because we live out in the country. a DoorDash in town now, but I don't know if they do that kind of stuff. Probably not, and they wouldn't come out here. So we just have to do things ourselves. And my kids don't live here, so I can't ask my kids to do it for me. I could probably ask somebody to do it. I think I'm going to turn it this way. A lot of times I can keep this one um, showing, and this one doesn't show very well because 
but this three shows better than this, this three. I kind of like to get one of them showing if I can. Turn that over. Now, I have chose this paper. I, of all papers, I really like this one because out of here, dainty, or was it dainty? Delicate. I think this couple, when I thought of using this, I knew this wedding couple was in here. And all of her delicate things, you know, uh, a day your wedding day is so delicate your veil is delicate the lace on your dress is delicate your flowers are delicate you probably have a necklace or you know your jewelry everything is delicate it's just delicate um, you're just the bride is delicate that day you know so that is why I am going to choose her or them this couple not just her um, and then I thought about trying to use this 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 tag somehow. And um, let's choose a. Um, I thought about the gold, but not with the. Not when I found this um, paper pad. The gold kind of went out the door. I think. So I think we're going to use one of these and we might, you know, use my, um, I don't know what color though. We might use my little flat brush to brush some kind of color on there. So uh, let's get these back in here, right? Hey, you know, there's these. This is pretty. Maybe this could go on there somehow. That is really pretty on there. Look at that on there. I like that. I like that. We're getting somewhere here. Um, let me get these these back in here, but we might look and see. I don't want to use everything out of here, though. <laughs> she sent me so much pretty stuff, though. Um, let's put this back in this pocket. Now, let's look back. Let's look in here. In this, oh, this one, one of these, this has a lot of, one of these has a lot of, um, I guess this one is a lot of used up, so I want to try to see if I can, but when I looked in here and I saw this paper right here, that looks very formal, you know, and then there's, um, where's the polka dot, where's the polka dot, maybe this isn't the pad that I looked at, yes, here, this polka dot, but isn't this pretty, 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 I don't know where pretty came from, I was reading perfect and said pretty, I just saw the perfect on there and pretty came out, <laughs> So, um, maybe we could cover some of this pink with the polka dot, you know, just um, tear that. Um, let's, let's do some inking around this. I need a drink real quick. I have some juice in my cup today. Tomorrow, we have to take my husband to St. Louis to see his trauma surgeon that fixed up his pelvis when he had his wreck. He was life flighted there. From He started in our little um, community hospital. No, he did not. He did not start there. I'm sorry they decided not to take him there when they got to the scene of the accident. 
And so they took it to the bigger hospital where our community hospital usually sends people to. The bigger hospital for where we live. And then they he was in surgery there for seven hours to fix his gut because his gut was all torn up. Because well, we don't understand really. We think when he hit the, he sideswiped a guardrail and that got the back the passenger back door and we think that set off the airbags and then by the time he hit the tree head on the airbags had already inflated, inflated and deflated we think that's all we can figure out um, because he had no airbags by the time he hit the tree head on and that totally tore up his gut his gut was all torn up so he was in surgery at that hospital for must have been making a coffee cup <laughs> for um, seven hours while they worked and fixed that up and then he was life flighted down oh he was life flighted to over to St. Louis and they um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for sure because this is the only piece of this I have Anyway, we're going to his trauma surgeon tomorrow to see her. Let's think, see what her update is, what she thinks. Okay, so let's see. Figure out where all this is going to go. Oops, this is going to go on here. And they're going to go on there. This. I had this over here, but I don't think I like that balance. I think I want it over here. And I love the hearts showing. I love that. We're going to keep that. But I wonder if I have a little charm, like a heart charm. I just moved my charms. Oh, I see them. Okay. They were taking up space that I needed for something else, so I moved them. I used to have this all sorted, but I don't anymore. I don't know where to get charms anymore. Like, charms that are cheap, not expensive. I used to go to a charming place. And you could get charms, you know, three cents, four cents. And you did, they weren't meant for to be expensive. They were just meant for crafting. And I don't know where you can do something like that anymore. There's a silver one. That's pretty. Kind of bigger than I was thinking, but it's pretty. Here's a gold one. I kind of think out of those two I like. Oh, here is a silver one. Another silver one. But I don't know where you... Oh, here's a silver locket. Does anybody know where you do that anymore? Oh, here's one. It looks like flowers and tulips. I think I like that one. Let's use that one. I like that one. Like, I could spend $5 and get, you know, that many charms. Because they weren't anything special charms. They were just... Charms like meant to do crafting. And they closed up. She had a message board and everything, and we we had fun. But um, that's gone. And so I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna put that on there when it comes time. Now uh, yeah, I don't need any of this. Okay. So then, um, paper. 
Yeah, I think I will put, I think I will tear some of this to put down the side there. And I think I will just tear down the bottom here. Now, how do I want to, that left me with all this in case I have a problem here. But let's see. I think I will just tear it like Oops, too much white. Oh well I can take care of the white. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of the white, aren't I? <laughs> but that's okay. I can take care of the white. My thumb has been killing me. It keeps the psoriasis and it keeps getting really bad. I have gloves that I wear at night and um, I put medicine on. You know I want that to Well, I think I will put that so that it goes off the side, like the tag part, and comes down there. And then, if this is there, now that doesn't look very good, does it? Hmm. <laughs> How do I want that? Bring this up further like that so that it is wider. Okay, I need something. I need something for them to be on in the middle there. Oh, I should have made that wider right there. I didn't do that wide enough. But if I have something right there for them to be on, too high. I don't like it. I mean, I like that, but I need, oh, no, 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 no. I messed this up. Hmm. Maybe I just have to do without that. And I'm going to put this here. I put them there. And I'm going to do without that. Because it's not wide enough. I like that the side face or do I like it the di the diagonal way? Not sure. Kinda like the diagonal way. Let's see these things up. around the edge. I don't want it really distressed. Just a little light inking. Okay, so this will go like this. And this is going to go like this. Okay, and then do I want some of this paper? I could put some of this paper back in there. Yes, I like that a lot. How do I want it though? Because I don't really want to cover that up. Hmm. Dots need to be on top.
this. Oops. You know, I could do this again. I've got those, so why am I worrying about that? Let me take this off. The only thing is, you're never going to know this was pink, so that, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of using her pink tag. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want it to be her pink tag. Okay, I'm going to pause you and think about this. Okay, I had to think. What I didn't like, I figured out, was that this was just too thin for me didn't like how thin it was so I cut into that paper or I tore into that paper and I like this much better so I'm going to go ahead and put that down and it does cover most of it but it still has some of the pink paper and I'm very happy with that so I'm going to um, go ahead and ink that up I kind of think I probably need to decide where I'm going to cut it and go ahead and cut it so I'm not putting glue on all that and having a big mess. I cut this with my decal trimmer so I'll probably leave that edge there. And um, go ahead. I was going to, I just made that decision just now. <laughs> I hope that's straight. I don't know. Um, I'll probably cut a little bit on the outside of where my pencil mark is just so because I'm not good at doing that and having it fit usually it just doesn't quite fit <laughs> it's a little bit small every time I do that so I'm going to give it just a little bit of room but at least I'm not gluing all that <laughs> but somehow every time I do that it's just a little bit small and then I have to cut part of the tag or part of whatever I'm gluing on oh come on glue Get it out. Okay, come on, get over here. And I will put it down on that so that I don't get glue on my mat and have to clean it up. to that it'll show up. I got a mat. I got a mess right over here. You can see a little bit of it right there. It's a mess because I don't know what I'm doing and that's my problem. This time I just don't know what I'm doing. I've been like that a lot lately. So scatterbrained. Ugh. My whole life has been that way. Ever since the accident, I just can't. Well, I guess I'm going to cut off that where I duckle edged it. Oh, well. Ever since the accident, I just can't. Ugh, I cannot. I'm just scatterbrained. Don't know what I'm doing most of the time. Just going from one thing to the next. 
trying to make it through the days. That's just my life right now. <laughs> okay, so see, I like that so much better than just having this little, little bit. Uh, that is really pretty. I like that. Okay, so then let me put this up here. And I made a little envelope that I thought maybe would fit on there. I used um, this set from um, Stampin' Up! called Love Notes Framelit Dies. I don't have the stamp. Oh, there's some back here. I don't have the stamp set that goes with it. I just have the dies. Um, and I used the... Oh, oh, it's right here. I didn't put it back in there. I used this little envelope die. And then... Um, I have a little heart die. I just have collected dies like from AliExpress and places and I don't know where this one came from. It's just a little die. A little heart die that I have. So that was, I pulled out all these little heart dies that I have. But that's the one I decided to use and I put it on the envelope. And we might use that somewhere. I made that while I was off camera. But um, so the die, I just or the 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 stoily, I decided maybe a light dusting of blue on it. Now there might still be some brown in my brush, and I'm okay with that. Just a little bit of brown will be okay. So I'm gonna. I've got um, broken china here. I think this will be okay yeah see that's I think that'll be okay I'm not gonna do it very dark just a little bit here and I love this makeup brush for this it's flat and I just love it it doesn't um, tear up the doily or anything it doesn't leave you know real funny marks on it or anything get this center here And this is just about perfect for what I was wanting. Almost too dark, so I'm going to stop. Put my brush up. And that's how that looks. Looks darker in my camera to me than it is in real life. It's a little bit too dark right there, but maybe that'll be covered up. Okay, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't need that up here. Okay, so I've got that. And I've got our tag. What do I do with the envelope? I don't know what I just did with that envelope. Huh. Is it on there? That's odd. Oh, I see it. Okay. There we go. These little pieces are falling out that I wanted to use. Maybe they want to be on here. Okay. So the tag's going to go, or the doily's going to go there. These little guys are going to go right there, and I kind of thought about putting the envelope there. This needs to be inked around again. It's not very... I don't think I inked around it since I put the polka dot on there. on here? That is a very good question. Mm, I need my um, eating needle. Let me grab it. Oh wait, I got one up here in my little turnabout. I just gotta get over to it here. I got one right here. I buy these beading needles Big eye beading needles. And they've got, um, if I can get my thumb in there, 
I have a hard time when my nails are really hurting. Okay, see, they got that. Okay. So then you put this in here. I hope it'll work with both of them. Now I am going to go ahead and cut the end of that because it's so um, uneven and so, you know, raveled there. Okay, so then you put this through here. It's for beading, but I use it for stuff like this. I use it a lot for buttons and then see, it pulls it right through there. Mm -hmm. It works for more than just beading. I keep one in my button box. I keep it loaded with my um, cream colored. Um, oh, I just knocked a punch on the floor. A second. Oh, I can't get it picked up. Okay, just a second. Okay. I keep it in my button box loaded with crochet thread. I have a crochet on it all the time so I don't lose it because they're very easy to lose. I've lo lost several of them and I never find them. I think I would find them when I was sweeping the floor or something, but I don't. Okay, so I want this to come down here. Now, how am I going to do that? Just bring it around and tie it, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what else to do with it. And then I'll just glue it where, glue it to the doily or to the page where I want it to fall, I guess. Okay. I guess that'll work. I'm going to cut this short. I don't like it hanging like that. Not too short to where it'll come out. Um, I'm going to get my um, this glue here. Glue a little bit down in there. So I think I'm ready to put this together, I'm pretty sure. It's not going to be anything, you know, crazy, but okay, so I'm gonna put this here. So I guess I'll use this one. I hope it's still working because it's been sitting here without the cap on. doesn't want to work. There, maybe. Maybe it will now. Ah, there we go. I'll leave it sitting on its side. <laughs> I'm going to move this because I think I'm done with that. I think. Set it right over here where I can get to it. I don't know where my little card is that I was using to do this, so I'll get another one. That's card number two tonight. <laughs> See how many I go through tonight. have my hot glue gun ready. I've been trying to use that more. And I've kind of gotten out of it there for a while. I was doing okay using it. But I kind of got out of the habit. But the glue is so much cheaper. It's a lot cheaper to use hot glue. Okay. And then I'm going to put 
this. I think I will put this right about there. This is pretty good for me because I'm a hoarder of supplies. So for me to just use this stuff, mm -hmm. <laughs> usually I'd be like, oh, I can't use the stuff she sent me. Oh, no. Oh, I just thought of what I was going to try to use, too, was some kind of lace because, you know, that is that is delicate. So let's see what I want to use here before I get too far here. Uh, because I'm probably going to use it on here. Of course, uh, you know, I'm almost done here. Oh, where's the envelope? The envelope's going to go down here. So see, I want to probably put it down here. Let's see. Got that one, but I probably... That's... Oh. You know, um, this color would probably be the best. Not you. I don't know why you're unraveled. Where's my... Pin cushion. Oh, I need a pin. I need a pin. I need a pin. I need a pin. Because this one. I don't need five pins. <laughs> a whole bunch tried to come off. Now I don't know though. I was like, not pink, not pink. That won't go. But you know. Huh. Let's look at this. No, because it's kind of polka dot and that doesn't work. I just realized it's got the polka dot. So, what I'm really thinking is this one because of the colors. Where's the pin in this one? There it is. Let's set it right there. That one is really pretty, isn't it? Okay, let's cut this one. I like that one and it's very delicate. It feels like it's old. It kind of feels homemade, honestly. Every once in a while. Uh, it hasn't happened for a while, but every once in a while, at my thrift store, I will come across a baggie of old stuff. Old um, lace. And I love it <laughs> when that happens. Sorry, I had to get a drink. This is pretty. This is the right size. Yes, now see, that is very delicate. I didn't hold it up for you to see. Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's so pretty and delicate. I really think it's homemade. Okay, I'm going to put a very thin line here. Gonna have it hanging out over the tag a little bit onto the card. Oops. Which side? This side, I think. That's pretty. I like that a lot. Okay. Now let's put this down. Make sure that's just one because it's really thick. It's just one. It's embossed. It's really pretty. I've never had anything like this. I don't even know where you get these. <laughs> My fingers are blue, I guess, from doing the doily. I got the hiccups. Which is weird because I was on the phone with my mom earlier and she had the hiccups. <coughs> okay, do I still want that right there? I put them a little bit lower than I did earlier. Do we want it up here? No, I don't want to cover up the three. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. Okay, now, where do I, I kind of want this to, to 
a little twisty twist if it will. I don't know if it's got enough. It's kind of how it wants to lay right there. Hmm. that's how it wants to lay. I'm going to put a um, dot underneath it. Oops, I didn't catch the one, the top one. It's a little more difficult trying to catch two of them. They're sticking to me instead of the doily. There, I got them. All right. So I think this is my dots and doily and delicate. So I will hold it up to you for you to see. There you go. And I thank you so much Rachel for the supplies that I used. <laughs> I'm tickled pink to have them. And you all have a great day. Head on over to Rachel's channel. I will have the link below for this challenge that for week six so that you can go see what it's all about and check out Rachel's channel if you would like to join. It's a really fun challenge. I'm really enjoying it. And you have a fabulous day. I will see you later. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.